The predicted upstream regulators analysis is based on the gene or protein expression data from the uploaded data set. iPathway Guide then predicts the activation or inhibition of each regulator based on the number of differentially expressed target genes whose fold change is consistent with the regulator's predicted activity, activated or inhibited, and the sign of the interaction between the regulator and target, positive or negative. In the upstream regulator summary, the default view is a horizontal bar plot showing the count of consistent differentially expressed genes for each upstream regulator that is predicted as activated. Notice that the selected regulator is highlighted in yellow. One can view the upstream regulators predicted as inhibited by changing the regulator type selection below the bar chart. The upstream regulators are ranked in order of p-value from most significant to least significant. Search for a particular gene is performed from the table directly below the bar plot. You can toggle the graphic view to show an alternative two-way plot of p-values. Correction factors are available and update the plot accordingly. In this view, the horizontal axis shows p-values based on the z-score, which is calculated by comparing the number of consistent edges going to DE target genes to the total number of edges going to DE target genes. On the vertical axis, the p-values represent overrepresentation of the number of consistent DE targets for each regulator with respect to the total number of measured target genes expected to be consistent just by chance. The counts for the consistent DE target genes versus all DE target genes and the counts of all DE target genes versus all measured targets, differentially expressed or otherwise, are displayed in the table below. The size of each bubble reflects the total number of consistent DE targets with smaller dots representing upstream regulators with fewer consistent DE target genes and larger dots representing regulators with a higher number of consistent DE target genes.